Hey guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity anti matter Dimensions video. This is episode 12, and today we're going to be starting with the 8th challenge. Now, I don't want to just jump to all the challenges because I don't got a lot of time. I have a week till the SATs do, so time is definitely not on my side for this one. So, I'm going to be kind of splitting the challenges into separate videos, probably. Maybe there are some videos where I will do multiple challenges we will just have to see but for this one we're just going to do one challenge so it might be a uh, sweet short uh, sweet and short video but yeah anyways if you enjoyed this video if you learned something new make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on notifications for future live streams and videos anyways let's head right into it so i have pulled up the equation sheet all right so this is uh the challenge eight is the one where it affects um dimensional sacrifice but makes the other ones useless. So here's the equation for our dimensional sacrifice originally, and this is our new equation afterwards. Um, the equation changes quite a bit. So this max thing we do here is currently what we see here. So things are gonna look very different. So we have a new variable, which is j, and j is our previous sacrifice multiplier. Okay, so things are just a little different. Um, obviously, this is divide. This is a division thing right here, and I'm guessing it's dividing all of this. So this right here will just make the future boost not like grow. Actually, it might make grow make it grow faster. Maybe that that's just the gist of it. But basically, n is the total amount of first dimension sacrificed. So it's the same thing as n right here. So that doesn't change. But m, however, instead of it just being a constant number, 2, it is the current amount of first dimensions. Okay? So we're going to have to kind of play around with this. So let's... I'm going to uh, jot down this formula real quick. All right. So this is pretty easy to make. But basically, m uh, to the power of 0 0.05 divided by n to the power of 0 0.04 times j. All right, so this is what I have. I decided to um, determine if the challenge is equal to 8, and this will occur, this check will occur under the var current highest um, because I want to use my highest dimensions here because j in this website. Uh, no, not J, N, is the total amount of first dimension sacrificed. And that's what I, you know, I use the dimension count here. I do things a bit weird here. Now, obviously, I should have done a max, but I just didn't. So I just kind of rolled with it. So we're just going to use this instead. And as you can see, it looks pretty identical. And J is the previous um, sacrifice boost. And that is the what we currently have right now. Okay, so now that we have challenge 8 out of the way, I feel like we can really just get things done. Because, honestly, once we have the challenge done, it's pretty easy. Now, the thing with, the problem with skipping from 1 to, or 2 to 8 is that we're going to have to, like, fill in the rest of the UI and kind of just ignore it. So, what we're going to do is open up a uh, non-big crunch and open our challenge game object. Uh, yes. And we'll start with the interface. Alrighty, so I have created the interface. So basically what I did is that I added a scroll rect, an image with uh, a with an uh, alpha of 1, and a mask. And then we added my, then I added my panel right here for the scroll rect right here. And I attached the following ob game objects like that. And I also added the rest of the challenges. And I also um, added the ID. So C3 is 2, C4 is 3, C8 is 7. Now I'm just going to turn these off because we only have two challenges. Or um, I have something mixed up here. Why are these flipped? Um, okay, everything else looks good. So I guess I just need to flip this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, ignore that. That was a bit weird how I place that. But yeah, anyways, we're going to just block off uh, C2 through C7. So now if we turn off this mask, we can only see two challenges are active, right? So now we need to uh, put the text in here. 
And since we never really update this text at all, we're just going to copy and paste this uh, definition right here. Dimension boost and galaxies are useless. Sacrifice resets everything, but is immensely more powerful. Okay. Let's take a look at this challenge real quick. So I'm guessing if we gather enough... Alright, so let's see. What happens if we reset this? Okay, so I don't think the boost is applied. Yeah, because it said shifts in galaxies are completely useless. Challenges. Dimension boost in galaxies are useless. Yeah, so I keep doing a few and the boost is just not effective. So, okay, let's get to this. We're very close. One more. Okay, cool. Oh, sh <laughs> I finished that really early. Okay. Well, we know that um, you can do... Um, do galaxies do anything? Yeah, I did some more testing. Okay. It is useless. So basically what I'm going to do is just block off dimension or antiminer galaxies. And then dimension boost do absolutely nothing. Okay. That's just, that's just it. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's copy this definition like I said. Okay, got it. Paste it in here. Rename this challenge 8. And... Dimension boost and galaxies are useless. Sacrifice resets everything, but is immensely more powerful. Swag. And now the reward is the eighth dimension. I believe, right? Yeah, it doesn't skip or anything. Eighth dimension auto buyer. Yeah, I had that right. Why did it do that? There we go. <laughs> uh, okay. We have these challenges. Let's go turn on the mask. All right, let's get back into our code. So, actually, one more thing. One more thing. In our challenge manager, what's nice is that our start text is an array. So we can just expand this and replace with all these, all these names right here. Okay, so name two, three. All right, I dragged all of them. Uh, okay, that's all we need to adjust here. Um, challenge manager. So we so far only have one. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna make this into a for loop. Honestly, let's do that. So uh, for of our i is equal to zero. I is less than to is less than eight. So we're only checking up to eight. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna replace zero with i. And one with i plus one. i plus one. That's it. That's all we need to do. Cool. Um, <clears throat> um, oh yeah, we gotta do the... We have to do stuff in dimensions. Well, few words. OBS is terrible. <laughs> it just stopped recording right in the middle of the video. I don't know where. I didn't press anything. Well, it actually did. It, it kept recording. It said I had like a 30 minute recording time, but the video only turned out to be eight minutes. So like it just stopped. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I, I got to catch up. I got to figure out what I did and just kind of go back, I guess, which is annoying because, uh, yeah, <laughs> so we did stuff in challenge manager. Um, okay, so I'll try my best to see what we did in Dimensions. And I believe we would, we did something in Unity as well. So yeah, I'll check that. So anyways, let's, let's scroll through this. Okay, so we start here at Dimension Shift Boost. So basically we add this if statement. So if data current challenge is equal to 8, then we're going to set this Dimension Boost, uh, this Dimension Shift Boost 1. And then we're just going to continue. Where this continue basically just skips all of this and just continues on the with a loop. Um, so yeah, that's all we got to do there. That's dimension shift. So we're not applying any single form of boost when we are buying these dimension shifts. Okay, and now our galaxy resets. So basically, I split the shift reset into two methods, big and small. Let's find that right here. So basically, um, public void shift reset big is all of this and small is this where I separated the 
the difference between dimensional sacrifice boost and highest first dimensions. So I moved that into a new method because I want to call this at a certain spot, which I will get to. So when we do a shift, we do shift reset big and then small. And we do the same thing for our galaxy reset. Now when we, when, now when we get to the dimensional sacrifice, we only want to do a shift reset big. And that's because we don't want to reset uh, anything uh, related to the dimensional sacrifice in the highest first dimensions. So we just separate it. In our dimensional sacrifice method, inside this if statement, we check to see if the current challenge is equal to 8. If so, then we're just going to call this shift reset big. Because instead, the dimensional sacrifice just resets everything. Because if that wasn't the case in this challenge, you know, that'd be pretty dang easy to get just get back and just keep growing. You know, just, you know, the challenge would be finished very fast. All right. I believe that's all I actually have to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't remember if I reviewed this in my the previous video I don't really feel like going back but this is the equation I use for the dimensional sacrifice to get I added this max statement right here inside the pow because I want uh, if this was zero this would be an NAN so we want any number less than one being set to zero or to one um, so for example if this highest first dimensions was zero we want this to be one instead and that will um, get rid of that potential infinity in NAN. So yeah, that's the equation. And let me pull up Unity again. Okay, back in here. Uh, again, I don't remember what I changed in here, but I added all of my buttons, my start buttons, and start challenge my challenge start text inside the challenge manager. And I also forgot to get rid of some components that were in C1, C2, and all the way down to C8. It was a button component and an infinity upgrade component, which was the script. So I got rid of those. It's just an image like that. And then I made sure every single start button here was assigned to its proper number. So the challenge, the first challenge would be one. The second challenge would be two. And the seventh challenge would be seven. And obviously and so on. Um, so let's, we don't really need, I mean, I've already tested this, but I'm just going to run it through with you guys and kind of just, uh, do something. So this is our dimensional sacrifice boost real quick. So we can do it right now. And there we go. It resets. Now I don't know why this is much higher. Okay. That is not good. What is that? Okay. That is just constantly growing. <laughs> okay. So now we know there's something wrong with the equation. So I guess I'm glad that I came back here. So what happened, I'm guessing with this equation is because we gotta multiply this, the the power right here, with the previous with the current um, sacrifice boost. So I'm just gonna multiply, I'm just gonna add parentheses around all of this. That's my guess. Well, let's just give this a shot and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't screw anything up. I'm pretty sure that would make more sense anyways. Okay, cool. So that doesn't work. Um alrighty, let's just keep buying these now. Cool. So far, that is good. And where is my script? Right here. I'm just going to give myself some antimatter. Bimax. Yeah, that seems more legit. Oh, this dimensional sacrifice boost is 1809. <laughs> I might want to fix that. Okay. And I believe this is plus one, actually. I. Yeah, that would make more sense. So add a plus one to the end of this equation. So I believe I got to wrap parentheses all the way around this and then do a plus one. Maybe not. No, we don't have to. Okay. So yeah, don't forget that plus one and everything should be good now. So let's just keep buying these and see this grow. And let's see, the current boost is 30. I'm afraid this will get smaller maybe. I, I don't know. I'm honestly really skeptical. Um, cause we're currently at like this little wall here where we can't buy anything. So I'm just going to like dim sack. I, I don't know. I'm just going to keep working my way up here and see if this gets any better. And again, this equation could be off by a, a massive amount. I mean, this is supposed to be one X, 1.03 X. So maybe it, that is like part of the factor. 
Let's see, what if I change this to one, zero? So I feel like it's not supposed to get like harder, right? Um, I don't know. That's why I kind of hate when parentheses aren't used and stuff like that. And I know that was part of the problem right here. Um, okay, so I'm noticing something. I think that the boost formula is what it currently is, right? So obviously it's multiplying each other, and that's I think that's what j times j is. So I think we're looking at the equation wrong, and we're supposed to like not include this uh, times j. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Uh, that's what makes most sense to me. I'm gonna keep this plus one, and I'm looking at the GitHub, and I don't see any times j. I don't know what this dot max is, but I believe we're just gonna keep it like that. I mean, yeah, everything else seems fine. Let's give that a shot. Oh yeah, I also took off my shirt. Oops, I'm still in my work outfit. It's kind of messy. <laughs> um, okay, things still seem kind of sketchy. Yeah, it still seems too extreme. Maybe it is as plus one after all. Maybe we can get rid of that. So it's supposed to be 1.14. One okay, let's just keep going. Okay. That seems, uh, this seems more proper. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this equation just seems extreme. Oh, why am I getting an error now? Interesting. Well, I'm just going to uh, leave, I don't know. This equation just seems extremely weak. I mean, th this does have to grow. So this will take time and this will grow. I just don't know why this seems so weak. And I think this plus one is actually supposed to be there now. Because otherwise this would be 0 0.38. I just don't, I just don't, I don't know. Again, I haven't played the actual full game in forever. Before. Maybe this is actually what the speed of the game is supposed to be. And again, I'm about to, I'm still about to start buying stuff again. So, yeah, maybe I just need to be more a little more patient, you know. Alrighty, so I'm just going to have it at that. Anyways, this is challenge number eight, episode two. 12. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications for future videos and live streams. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and all the support lately. It really means a lot to me. And anyways, have a great day, great night. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.